I think people see it as a threat because um, they're able to make changes or influences on the internet, sometimes without uh, either competitive or regulatory balance or, or uh, objection or, or restraint. Um, uh, that could be a good thing, that could also be a bad thing, because I mean, I think those, the lack of those things actually enable an environment where those large operators are able to be highly successful. Um, some of those social media platforms would not be interesting if they are fragmented and, and put into a whole bunch of different smaller buckets. I mean, think about uh, if, if Facebook was, uh, was regionalized and you had like, you know, Facebook A for North Carolina and Facebook B for Virginia and Facebook C for Berlin and Facebook D. I mean, then, you know, trying to get some, some matrix of all those things together, operating, functioning in some ubiquitous way, takes away from the value of the platform in the first place. So the only reason they're successful is because they, you know, were able to grow this giant infrastructure. So it's a it's a it's an interesting trade-off if you talk about breaking them up and trying to uh, provide some some restraint and oversight um, against some perceived uh, bullying or you know um, uh, ability to move in the marketplace that uh, that's unchecked. Then uh, then you kind of break up the experience and it's not you know.